हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड सो दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ पाइस पार्क परफॉर्मेंस ट्रेनिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द डायनेमिक प्रूनिंग सो वॉट इज दिस सो फर्स्ट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द बेसिक फ्लो दैट इज हैपनिंग वाइल वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द डेटा सो द बेसिक फ्लो इज वी आर हैविंग दिस डेटा सेट दैट यू कैन सी इट इज गोइंग टू स्कैन द डेटा फर्स्ट एंड देन वी आर हैविंग द फिल्टर सो दिस इज द बेसिक फ्लो लेट्स अज्यूम इफ वी हैव एनी सेल डेटा सेट एंड दैट डेटा सेट वी जस्ट वन ऑफ फिल्टर आउट एंड देन वी वन आर रीड इट सो द बेसिक फ्लो इज नॉट गुड बिकॉज इट इज स्कैनिंग ऑल द डेटा एंड आफ्टर दैट इट इज डूइंग द फिल्टर नेक्स्ट यू कैन सी द फिल्टर पुस्ट डाउन सो दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन द लास्ट वीडियो सो वॉट इज द फिल्टर पुस्ट डाउन सो इफ यू हैव नोटिस देयर इन साइड द फिजिकल प्लान फिल्टर पुस्ट डाउन इज गोइंग टू फर्स्ट फिल्टर एंड देन स्कैनिंग सो हियर वी हैव द डेटा सेट फर्स्ट इट इज एडिंग द फिल्टर एंड आफ्टर दैट इट इज स्कैनिंग द डेटा सो दिस इज लिटिल बिट गुड एज पर द परफॉर्मेंस द सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग विद द पार्टीशंस फाइल एज वेल सो लेट्स अज्यूम इफ डेटा इज स्टोर्ड इन द मल्टीपल पार्टीशंस एंड वी जस्ट वॉन आई स्कैन द डेटा so it is going to scan the data but before that it is doing the filter that you can see so in the first slide you have seen we are having a single data set but here we have two data sets and we just want to join between those so as you can see we have one of the dimension table that could be your customer table and the second that is the fact table which is your sales table so we just want to apply the filter on dimension table so how it is happening behind the scene in the physical plan so that you can see we just want to scan the dimension table and then it is adding the filter that you can see from here but behind the scene while it is reading the data from the fact table so this is your fact table you can assume so from reading here first it is trying to scan the dimension table and then it is posting your filter and after that scanning your fact table so based on the filter whatever the filter has been added inside your dimension table it is going to apply inside your fact table as well so this is good as per the performance and after that it is joining on the basis of your partitions let me quickly go in the next slide now if we are having the partitions data how join is happening but let's assume here we have the dimension table so dimension table could not be having as much data there so we can go with the broadcast join so by default it is adding the broadcast join there but if it is not adding we may explicit add the broadcast join so what is the broadcast join i'll be going to record a separate video on that but as of now you can only assume we are having the multiple nodes and a copy of this dimension table will be available on all those nodes so that is the broadcast join now here it is scanning your file and then it is adding your broadcast join and here it is scanning your dimension and then it is doing the broadcast exchange and after that it is joining but if we are having certain scenario where we just want to filter out your dimension table and then we want to join on that scenario how it is happening so as we have already seen in the second slide where we were trying to join two tables but here the data is stored inside your file so while it is scanning your file it is adding the dynamic filter so this dynamic filter is nothing but the dynamic pruning that we want to cover so here first it is scanning your dimension table along with the filter so first filter will be added on your dimension table then on the broadcast is change it is going to add the dynamic filter on your file scan as well so inside the file if we have we are having a lot of data so it is going to dynamically adding and pushing the filter there so it will be going to fetch only that data which we want to use in our join and after that the broadcast has join will be going to apply so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to understand all these in practical so here i am going to create two data frames the first is the sales data frame and second is the customer data frame and i have already executed so data frames has been created next i am going to create 
two temporary views for joining these two tables so here i am going to join and here you can see i am going to add a filter which is on the id column of your customer so customer is very small table and sales is having big table and we just want to do the join and after that getting the customer name from your customer table and taking the sum of amount from your sales table and we are joining on the basis of customer id and filtering on the customer id as well if we are going to see the execution plan of this so let's try to read this execution plan so it's be going to start from the bottom so bottom side we can see so as we have created two tables so the first table which is the sales table inside the sales table we have the customer id column that you can see so it is adding the filter there as well on the customer id so customer id should be 100 so explicitly it is adding the filter on the fact table but in your query we have not specified to add the filter on your fact table we are only adding the filter on your customer table which is your dimension table so explicitly if you can notice then we can see it is adding the filter there and after that it is also adding the filter on your customer that you can see here and then it is joining as broadcast join by default it is adding as a broadcast join but if it's not adding we can specify explicitly next i am going to create a file which is a sales file with the parquet format and uh, we are also doing the partition on the customer id now let me try to create two temporary views that you can see here first we are reading this parquet file and storing in, in this data frame and then we are creating the temporary view based on this if we can go and try to execute the same query that we have applied earlier then here we can see it is scanning your file so file has been scanned and here we can see the partition filter so on the partition level it is adding the filter with the customer id which should be 100 that you can see here so customer id filter has been added inside your file scan as well so that we have seen in our slide as well and after that it is adding the filter on your dimension table and after that doing join on the broadcast so this is how it is adding the dynamically pruning inside your execution plan so this is very good as per the performance it is not required to scan all the data those are available in your table in your fact table because fact table could be having a lot of data so based on your filter that we are applying inside your dimension table it is dynamically pushing that filter in your fact table as well so i hope guys you have understood thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video